Treble gun tools are from Germany. They make reamers, they make gauges and other tools. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. I've been having a lot of fun with Treble gun tools. These reamers and gauges have been used now in two projects that I've already published. You're gonna to wanna to check out the Eddie Van Halen Tribute Rifle. This was a bench rest rifle that I built from scratch. I mean from scratch. I milled out the stock, I did the bedding. It was quite an elaborate project. Turned out really, really well. I used treble reamers and gauges for that. I just finished a 338 Lapua build. This is on the Freedom Rifle that was originally a 7 PRC and used uh, treble reamers and gauges for that. Upcoming on the channel, I'm in the final stages of planning a 50 BMG build. <laughs> this is going to be big, it's going to be bad, it's going to be based on an ELR platform. You're definitely going to want to check out that. In this video, I wanted to give you a quick overview of what Treble Gun Tools offers in terms of chambering tools and gauges. So, Treble makes awesome reamers. You can get rougher reamers that are for removing the bulk of the chamber material quickly. You have full finisher reamers, which I don't have an example of here. You've got body and neck reamers and you've got free bore reamers. That's, that's what I have here. In terms of gauges, there's traditional go no go gauges, which are separated by about four thousandths of an inch. So they're a little bit tighter than approximately the six thousandths of an inch that you'd see uh, in the US counterparts. And then also, there's this guy. This is a lands gauge. This is what you can use to measure and confirm to specific specs what your free bore is and whether or not it's adequate. So, let's talk about the reamers really quick. This is a 6.5 by 47 body and neck reamer, and it's going to B2 CIP specifications in this particular case. This is a, a minimum spec. And there's so there's different specs that you can pick from. Contact Treble if you're interested in you know something specific or you know to validate specific specifications and dimensions. They have brass bushings, which is really an interesting choice of materials. I like it because it's not gonna you know harm the lands inside the bore, which they're, they're riding in, and, and this should be stationary in the lands and spinning like that, right? But as you're inserting it and removing it, I'm confident with a little tighter fit here without any scratching like you'd get with the tool steel US counterparts that are traditionally used. So the body and neck reamer is kind of the step one in the chambering process, and you're gonna use your go and no-go gauges to confirm your reamer stick out, to thread the action onto the barrel and drop the bolt to make sure that you're exactly where you want to be in terms of chamber cut depth. You can then separately cut your free bore. And this is great if the customer that you're building a rifle for wants to use different bullets and different loads. You can dial that to exactly where you want it to be. And that's what you use the lands gauge to test. The way these gauges are dimensioned is you would put it into the bolt, drop the handle with the action tightened down, and it should pass if it has proper free bore specification. Now you can cut deeper than that, and actually, if you want to cut it shorter than that, you can compare your reamer stick out between your lands gauge and your go or no go gauge, uh, depending on what you're using. I sometimes will use a shim of masking tape on the back of the go gauge to give myself two thousandths of an inch and then when you account for a barrel crush that can lead to a particular final result compared to what you're seeing as you're chambering on the uh, lathe. Okay, so <laughs> I'll just have to say this stuff is really cool. I love 50 BMG because of how big it is. This is the freebore reamer. It's got a 12 millimeter shank, which is the same as the, <laughs> the shank on the body and neck reamer for the regular gauge. It's just totally of mammoth proportions here. And then this is the body and neck reamer. Just take a look at that. Behold, <laughs> the, the scale of this. And then of course the go no go gauges and the lands gauge are also uh, comical in, in proportions. Love it. That's gonna be a, a fun project. So 
that gives you a quick overview of the center fire offerings from Treble Gun Tools. I will also note that Treble makes pistol gauges and reamers and also shotgun gauges and reamers and corresponding tools. You can find out more about that on the Treble Gun Tools website. Uh, and if you're a gunsmith, and if you're interested in having access to this tooling without having to go directly to Treble in Germany and go through the importing process, definitely drop a comment and let us know, and let us know what you would be interested in, in terms of cartridges and types of reamer setups and so on and so forth. So make sure you're subscribed because I've got the 50 BMG build coming up and I've got other builds that I have planned as well. And I'm gonna work in more and more Treble gun tools, gunsmithing equipment uh, in future projects. And if you have specific ideas, also drop a comment letting me know what you'd like to see. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.